Do you know that words like Wala, Alvarika, Ashiri, Iwaju, Adura, Ferese are not originally from Yoruba. They are loaned words. You are welcome to Sweet Mother Entertainment channel. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. I love you all. You are welcome to Sweet Mother Entertainment channel. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. I love you all. You are welcome to Sweet oh, Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you back on my channel. If you are new here, please I'll give you two to three seconds to go and subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be among the first people that will enjoy my video as I drop them. In my last video, I said something about bo borrowed word or loaned word that I'm going to bring it in my next video. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Today's episode is on loan words, borrowed words in Yoruba language. Um, in any language, we have various loan words. We have loan words in Hausa, we have loan words in um, English, we have loan words in so many languages like that. Now, what is loan word? When we're when we talking about loan word, loan word is words that are adopted into another language without translating them. They are adopted into another language without um, translating them. In Yoruba language, we call it Ede Ayalu or Oro Ayalu. Ede Ayalu or Oro Ayalu. Kini Ede Ayalu. Ede Ayalu ni Ede Ti Aya. Wonu Ede Yoruba. Lai Shekwe Ashe Obufore. It's not only in Yoruba language that we have loan words. We have loan words in French. We have long words in English, we have long words in Aousa and so on and so forth. Most of the languages of the world has, have um, long words in their language. Like English language, we have words that originated from Latin, French, Greek and so on. Even Hindi. Um, then also French, we have words that are borrowed too. Um, like the word restaurant is borrowed from French, like the word zero is borrowed from Arabic, the word person is borrowed from Latin um, and ended up um, in English language, is borrowed from Latin. French adopted it and also ended up in English language too. So it's not only in Yoruba language that we have um, bor the borrowing and ad uh, and the adoption of these foreign foreign words can be traced to immigration, exposure to foreigners, and commerce and trade, especially when our forefathers may do business with uh, white men and um, various na and nationals, even Aousas, Igbos when they, they, they exchange um, goods and services. So, all those borrowed and adopt, adoption can be traced to that. Even in, there are some Yoruba language now that has find its way to the Oxford Dictionary, like Fanimoros. Fanimora is a Yoruba word, you know, and all you as the surface there, is English words and the two words married together and form Fanimorous. So many words like that as find their way to um, the Aus Oxford Dictionary. Most of the borrowed words that we have in Yoruba language are from Aousa, English, then Arabic. Because um, Aousa language borrowed so heavily from Arabic. So, and Aousa and Yorubas has a lot of transaction going on between them. So, they, uh, they have exchange of, um, exchange of, um, of culture, tradition, 
from Yoruba language as well and from Arabic words like they have word like Alaroruna is a Yoruba word now Aguado Aguado is Agbad from Agbado which means maze then Amalanke Amalanke they call it Amalanke and it's from Yoruba word called Omolanke that is the uh, two wheeled put push carts used to convey um, goods used to convey loads and goods that's that's that now today let's check out some of these um, words and these borrowed words and their origin now we have adura adura is from an arabic word called dua 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 adura is from arabic word called dua now we have ashiri is from an arabic word called um asa asa now ashiri also um asa i was people adopted asa to to their own language and one way or the other it finds its way to yoruba language which me which means keeping secrets secrets it means secret now iwaju is from the word alwaj alwaj in a, in arabic it means front and yoruba too it means iwaju iwaju means front now we have abere abere too also is a loan word some people might be surprised that abere is a loan word. yes it's a loan word in deep kong yoruba people call it okini 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 that's the name eh? of abere that's nidu abere is nidu okini is nidu it, it means the same thing so it's from the word abre abre arabic speaker will uh will <laughs> please <laughs> if i made mistake in calling all these words please forgive me that's uh, that's how i can say it now we have riba what is riba riba in yoruba means on um on just exploitation riba is from arabic words too. it's from arabic language so it's called riba 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 or i don't know how they are calling the the correct sound but riba is a loan word from arabic riba is a loan word from arabic Likewise, ferise, ferise is from a French word called fenete, fenetre, fene. In French people don't usually pronounce R, so it's fenete, fenete. French words called fenete means window. So in Yoruba, it, it, it has been adopted to Yoruba language and it means um, window. Ferise, ferise, ferise. Now, wala, wala is uh, Yoruba people adopted wala from Aousa language, but Aousa people also adopted it from Arabic. You know, Yoruba people and um, and Arabians they have a lot in common because from history we we are we we, we are made to believe that Yoruba people come all the, came all the way. Sorry, came all the way from. Mecca to Ileife to come and settle down. Now another word is Alubarika, which is from Arab Arabic language again. It's called Albaka. Albaka. Now Balaga. When we say Ah, I'm going to Balaga. That means puberty. It, uh, when we say that girl or that lady has um, reached a puber the pu puberty stage, that means Ah, I'm going to Balaga. It's from Arabic word. Bulugu, Bulugu, Bulugu is now adopted to, uh, to Nigeria, uh, um, Yoruba word, uh, Yoruba language, and it's called Balaga. 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 Then also we have Alubosa. Alubosa. Alubosa is from Aousa language too. Any word that wants uh, to find its way to Yoruba language. Um, if the word did not um, follow the 
phonological makeup of Yoruba. Now, the word will be adjusted to suit the phonological makeup of Yoruba words. Like, for example, number one, the example I'm going to cite is, in Yoruba language, there is nothing like consonant plus that. Ishukbo consonant. We don't have Ishukbo consonant. That is consonant clusters in Yoruba language. So if a word is borrowed to Yoruba language and um, if a Yoruba want to call that word, um, for example, battery, you know, there is double T there. The double T is... Um, the double T in battery is consonant clusters. So, if it happens like that, Yoruba will use Yoruba will use vowel sound to separate the clusters. Now it, it will now turn to it will turn to battery, battery, battery. Now station, st. ST is consonant cluster. ST is consonant cluster. So your verbs will change it to te shon. They will now they will make sure it follows the pattern of um, Yoruba. It it follows the pattern of words in Yoruba. I can say they will yoru yoru balize it. <laughs> Yoruba lies. So like um, another example. When I'm talking about phonological makeup, is in Yoruba word, consonant sound don't end a word. Consonant o kinkpari oro Yoruba. Consonant o kinkpari oro Yoruba. You wrote consonant o kinkpari oro Yoruba. For example, cop. You know the the last sound there is sound and is consonant. So what are we going to do about that? We are going to end it with the nearest <laughs> the nearest vowel. Cop. We now turn to cop. Cop. Now basket. Basket we turn to basi. Keti, ba si keti, ba si keti. Now, if we don't want your bad language to die, we should try and pron uh, and pronounce these words. We try. We should try and translate it like baskets. We have baskets in Yoruba, so like bas um agbo. Or akbere. We have akbere or agma. It means basket. So if you want to translate it because of younger generation, we can call it akbere or agma. So that that language will not die. So instead of saying basket, we can say agma. We can say akbere. So that the, the language will not die. Most of these words that are borrowed, they are borrowed because. We don't have the um, the substitute in in Yoruba language because maybe because we don't have that thing we don't have that particular thing in in Yoruba. Uh, for example, Adura, you know, in Yoruba language we 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 um, in Yoruba culture and tradition we have. Iwure, because there's nothing like Adura, because Muslim religion and Muslim religion, that is Islam, and Christianity, Christian religion, Christianity, we don't have it in our culture before. So, that's the reason why we adopted that word, Dua. So, it now sounds to Adura, but we have Iwure also. You can use Iwure, but 
some people think that Igure is only meant for uh, the gods, is only meant for sacrifice, it's only meant for um, for all um, black culture or black, uh, black religion. No, we can use Igure also. Eh? Baba Igure for more. No? You can say Baba Igure because Adra has come to stay in your language. But I'm using this example because for example, like doctor now, you can say Dokita, because we don't have medical practitioner in Yoruba land before the advent of med, med, um, hospital, before the advent of um, medical practitioners, before the advent of uh, medicine. But we have substitute like Onishego, Onibo. Now, another word I want to cite as an example is pan. Pan. Because mm, at the back, the sound mm, at the back of the word, at the end of the word, rather, is a, a, a consonant word. So, cons in consonant word, uh, in Yoruba word, consonant don't end a word. For example, if you if you are used to Korea watching Korea film, you say you say that all of their names, most of the the word they pronounce, I don't understand the language, but I I I watch it and read subti subtitles. But I notice that no no matter how they want to call anybody name, they will put a or e a do ha e he don ya, they will just put e or ha at the back. So I said this thing relates to Yoruba language because in Yoruba language there is no how vowel will not end somebody's name. Vowel will always end. Even if you see if you if you see that ah uh, uh, like for example Ade Shoko or at the back a n or a ni a ni is not a a, a letter. It's a sound and it's a nasal sound. Is a nasal sound that is nasal vowel sound that is faweli and romukwe. Faweli and romukwe is a nasal sound. It will always be in a, a vowel, no matter what. There's no how it will always be a vowel sound, no matter what. One of these days, I'm going to bring um, at a faweli. I will I will explain at a faweli, faweli aromukwe and aromukwe for oh, for for Yoruba lovers on this channel. You know all this thing I'm saying will not be new to people that that are schooled in Nigeria or Yoruba students. It won't be new to them at all. But I'm using this channel to educate most of our people, especially people in diaspora that are Yorubas or that are Yoruba lovers that want to know more about Yoruba language that would like to to, to make Yoruba language stay please don't let Yoruba language die please don't let Yoruba language die please Yoruba language is a very rich language yoruba culture is a very rich culture please don't let the language die please say speak yoruba to your children mm? they will always learn english in their in their in their schools but that language that your mother tongue please don't let don't let it go into extinction and i know i believe that yoruba language won't go into extinction now i will entertain comments questions in the comment section please if you have any question Iberi on this, please um, ask in the comment section. I will see you next time. God's willing. Au revoir. Bye bye. O dabo. Kanikwa diayo.